Hello, Twitch. Hello. Wow, I'm rather quiet. Maybe that's because something's messed up with my lav mic. Why did the, my earbuds just disconnect too? Hopefully that fixes that. There, yeah. Okay, that fixes that. Because my lav mic wasn't on. That, that, that fixes one thing. That fixes another. And now I just need to figure out why my earbuds disconnected on me. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Finish wiping down the counter here. So we're finishing up the cake tonight. I'm going to have to make another batch of ganache and then whip it up and mix it with the little bit I got left in that pastry bag to try and somewhat equal it out because I was lazy and I didn't leave the house <laughs> and so I'm going to be using a slightly different chocolate For this ganache. Let's start with some coffee though. Yeah, and it's mostly the sides that I'm going to be painting tonight, so I essentially left it with a really rough crumb coat and trying to slide around because it was all still too warm. So I put some skewers in it and left it in the freezer overnight. So I should actually probably pull that out now. There we go. Nope, that's just straight coffee. Our current situation.
Nope, that is just straight coffee. Unfortunately, the marshmallow is busting through and trying to seep out. I tried to prevent that by piping an edge around it. It, it just busted through all the way around. So... <laughs> well, that's a different ver different way I could go with this tonight. How much chocolate do I actually have? Hey, Bun Buns, welcome in. I guess that's it. That's that's all the chocolate I got right now. Which means I can't do that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Bun Buns. I can't stand bureaucracy. I used to have someone that worked for me a while ago, worked for me for quite a while, that, that dealt with that with her significant other a lot with the VFW and getting the things they wanted in time. Or, not VFW, but, um... Veterans, but the Veterans Medical System. Which I know nothing about.
I got a bit of a mess going on in my sink right now. Let's get that draining properly. Well, excuse you, Drain. I don't know that you really heard that on st stream. I hope you didn't. That was quite sickening sounding. New weekly theme <laughs> submission. Bun Buns found that button quick. All right, that means All right, that's on the calendar. If you have uh, my uh, Google Calendar of upcoming dates, but if you don't, that'll be the fifth through eleventh. Cheers. Yep, there's going to be, there's only one redemption to that a day for anyone that's in chat and curious about the, the redemption that Fluffy just did. And then... Oh, uh, let's see here. There's going to be one more in June. And then I'm going to be taking off a significant amount of power of the last two weeks of June. And I will be back starting in July. I'm going to be... Traveling to visit with family like I typically do around that time of year. And go say hi, see everyone. And then come back. <laughs> I 
All right, I should get this cream heating up here because this is what's going to keep us waiting. Battle already. Wilson getting those assists. Uh, honorable mentions on the killing to Catalina and Bayatos. Catalina and Div Wilson getting the rewards. Yes, game. Berserkers. I guess I'm going to be putting down Berserkers tonight. Ooh, we're at the end of our... We're in a new... This is our last one in this campaign, so. It's Berserker. Let's go over the stove then, since that's all we're going to do with the game so far tonight. And going to find a pan to do this with.
And again, I'm bringing that up to heat, but not super quick. thing I was debating is if I had some more chocolate here of some form, I could just do a streak and nosh over the whole thing. So I got a nice small two inch hotel pan here and quarter hotel pan or half hotel pan. Gonna make our ganache, gonna put it in this, which is much flatter, much, you know, wider surface, much greater surface area area. And so put that in the freezer, allow that to set up a bit. And then we can pull it over here and whip it up like last time. Hopefully it'll be a lot quicker than yesterday. worried that it looks like it's almost ready to start pushing more marshmallow out but i guess this means we get the maximum amount of marshmallow per weight i don't know why hello there something from the whip
Need to return bottles. I need to give these floors a good mopping too. It's been a minute. Here's what little we have left over from yesterday. And I'm going to let that come up to room temp. Getting there with our milk, or rather our cream. Where is Bun Buns? There we go. Turn the heat off on that. Immediately pour that over our chocolate. So we've now got that well mixed together. So, like that in the pan, that shouldn't take long to uh, cool down in the freezer. I think I'm going to try and whip it in the same bowl. This is a smaller batch.
Nah, I thought this was in better condition. You clean up this tip that I apparently left dirty. That is the one truth to having your own business, your own place, your own... <laughs> it was you. You did it. <laughs> hey, George, welcome, Ben. I don't know that that's going to get in there well. How you been, George? What's new? Got that set. Got that set. We got marshmallow falling off the outside over here. Nice. I have no idea who's in the playoffs right now, much less who you're rooting for. Give a quick clean up to this mini whisk and small pot while we're waiting for that to chill down. It's going quick. It will not be long waiting on that freezer. Heat for Celtics, okay. Who are you rooting for? Who's who's your team? If you have one. I mean, I watched Formula One pretty regularly. I don't really have a favorite team. I have some teams I like more than other. I have some drivers that I'm not huge fans of but most of those are the ones that are paying for their seats okay i'm gonna give this a bit longer to cool down i thought this was better than this let's give this a stir and go back in Nice. Yeah, I've been following a lot of sports lately. Um, I used to follow hockey a lot closer than I do now. Uh, but hey, 12 years since Detroit's gotten to <coughs> Stanley Cup. Uh, 
I actually think the Red Wings are hopefully on a route to redemption. I think Iserman's probably doing good things. I don't know if he's going to have the ability to truly build that team back up. But, uh, yeah, I, I think... Uh, Oh, I'm forgetting his name. His predecessor um, was just in the position for way too long and just kept with the same system for way too long when the game had changed. So what's your uh what what's the big thing for the game tonight? Which game of the series is it too? Are are we down down to the line or uh we just getting started? Game one, okay. So now we get to figure out if it, if it's, you know, just going to be a slam dunk or if it's going to be a real fight. Pardon my pun there. Unintentional pun. I think we're going to wait for our... Eh, I don't know if we were going to want to wait that long. Let's take a look, another look at this. This is... Yeah, it probably needs about that long. I think we're going to wait until after our battle to pull out the frosting and give that a whip. And yeah, the... Marshmallow is continuing to leak out a bit. We'll have to clean that up once more before give that a final good covering. However, the way I'm thinking of doing this might not matter. So I'm guessing you're for Dallas on that one there. Golden State would be my local and people around here absolutely go nuts for them, but... There's actually a bar in Santa Rosa that I really like that's like a local sports bar. It's... It's great because it's like right downtown, so you can get to the things that you want to go to downtown, but it's like a block off of where all the tourists are for the wine stuff. Uh, and they got, at least pre-COVID, they had great food. I haven't been down there since COVID, so let's hope they're still around. I should go and buy a burger. But... Good bar food. Um, great bar beer selection. And, and not going to say names, obviously. Uh, but it was such a sports place that I, it, I just almost didn't feel welcome at the same time because they were such a giant's house. And... The entire thing is like decked out in baseball and, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Nice. So you're, so you're hoping they'll, they'll pull through and surprise everyone? Be, be the dark horse? Dark Yeah. What was the name of the uh, horse that unexpectedly crushed the uh, race this year? Practically came from the back at the beginning of the race to so win the thing. Even by horse racing standards. this on battle for the moment since we're just hanging out yeah it was something like 32 to 1 odds or something like that some people got some mad loot off of that horse Hey, new rank. Ranks are just based on viewership. They're just... Get them just for hanging out with me. No, uh, well, actually, let me double check, but I'm relatively certain it's entirely just based off of minutes watched. Yeah, it's based on minutes watched with bonuses for, like your typical currency, it's got bonuses for for your initial follow, for being around for events. Hey Ozzy, welcome in. We're waiting to finish up my cake here need new batch of ganache to set up it's in the freezer right now before I whip it up but it needs to do it a bit longer to cool Where is George? Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. 
we've already had our first weekly theme redemption from Fluffy Fluffy Bun Buns. So the second week of well, first second week of June, the fifth through the eleventh is going to be Vegan Week. Um, it's not dark chocolate. It's a little bit closer to semi-sweet than milk chocolate, which the rest of it is. So. <laughs> Catalina. Good. You gotta get, consider it's gonna lighten up a bit more when I whip it. But... Yeah. It's looking pretty close. It may not be an exact match, but... Catalina getting the kills and assists there. Just destroying it. Furball Mika back in with the eight kills. Catalina getting those scrolls though. Trying to get everyone mostly covered by the crystals here, other than myself, basically. There. Try and figure that one out. Probably just going to have a bunch of people ignore what I put there. <laughs> Okay, I think we're whippable now.
like a whole nother skill of trying to clean a pan, but also avoid hitting the camera. It's not just be in camera view, it's not hit the camera. Another one of the advantages of disposable pastry bags. So you don't have to play all day getting the tip out of the bag. Just cut it out. You notice there's no added sugar in this too. I mean, not that heavy cream is exactly the healthiest thing to be eating, but 
all we got here is sugar and cream. There's no, or there's, all we have here is chocolate and cream. There's no added sugar. There's no powdered sugar. There's. If you're not a fan of the crinkly noises, now would be a good time to mute for about 30 seconds. Oops. Need our tip figured out here first. And that's not going to work with this, so I'm just going to do like I did last time, just throw it in there. All right, so we got that set. Um, now I just want to put a nice layer around the outside here. Regardless of this marshmallow trying to leak out of this thing. Sorry, I'm having a moment I'm thinking of something I'm, I'm thinking of an <laughs> idea of how to mount one of my cameras differently and if I want to do that or not
I don't know why I just threw this in the freezer. I was going to immediately use some more of this. But if you do want to keep it nice, you do want to keep throw it in the fridge or in the freezer to keep it nice and chilled and happy. So now I'm just trying to put get enough on the sides that it's got a nice coat. Sorry if your view is somewhat out of the camera view there. I'm sort of using the side here to, well, I have to view the side in order to cover it. And so from here, with a nice light coat on the outsides now, you can see all the way around, there's no marshmallow anymore.
Uh, I don't know if I'm doing anything for really dinner today. I'm just doing a quick thing. Finishing this cake up, basically. Oh, geez, I thought it was better than halfway. Yep, that one's done now. Actually, I'm going to throw this in the freezer for a minute. That last one was not exactly pretty. Let's see if I want to scrape that one off. Uh... Thank you, Bun Buns, but it's just continuing to remind me how much my cake decorating and decorating skills in general have degraded. Uh, I don't know if I could even do a rose. I used to be able to do roses. I, I have a rose nail and the proper tips for it. I even have the scissors, I think, for it. Like some decorator scissors that are because decorators need different scissors <laughs> i think it was part of a pack Over here, cat. Seven minutes on Stream Raiders. Just enough time to get two more units out there. I'm done with my coffee already. I think I should get myself some water here.
Sure, it sucks. Good timing, Bun Buns. <sighs> We're going to need another bag. Another piece of twine or butcher's string. Twenty more minutes. So you're off work? <clears throat> that one's not as funny in text. That one's one that you have to say. Where do I keep these? Oh yes, down here. I don't know why. I sort of need to just move out and then back in. Because there's some things that I just have weirdly separated in this house at this point. Like, I've got, like, half of my baking stuff up right next to the camera there. And then I've got a random selection down here and underneath the stove. And I don't know when I did that. That was about, probably about two years ago, too. I went through and I reorganized most of the stuff in this kitchen. I didn't do much of my actual, like, kitchen equipment. But I know I redid the entire pantry. And a couple other things. You've got two what, Bun Buns? Sorry, I've lost the uh, context. Oh, no. I did the second one. I got a button. Yeah, I wasn't really supposed to tell you about that.
that button worked for once, by the way. I've tried using that button several times in the stream before, and it just hasn't worked. <laughs> Do I even still have that scene? Nope. I'm going to finish packing this bag and then we'll do our battle. I don't exactly want this like frozen, but the longer my hand is on it, this is the problem with a lot of pacer bags and probably something to be said for reusable ones because they are a bit thicker, is your hand temperature leaking through on some things like frosting. Makes it softer and runnier the longer you go with the pastry bag. So if you sit here and analyze my, my pastry and my, uh, uh, frosting stars from there over to here they're, they're going to get progressively sloppier and then probably a bit cleaner again and then sloppier again just because things have melted I know I'm not done with the bag, Ozzy. Okay, so now I'm now that I've got this here, I'm going to cut this at a level in between the point fitting out and it not squeezing over my tip. Then we're gonna push the frosting down and try and get all the air out that we can. tie it, and then we'll do our battle. And this way, we'll have this all set up I can throw this in the freezer and the outsides of that will get colder than the inside. So hopefully it will work nicely. All right. To war.
that was a little bit of a tougher fight there. We lost a few units there. That was just short of half, maybe 60% made it through there. Ozzy getting those kills. Do you need a healer helping out with the assists? Welcome back. Uh, Catalina getting some kills there too. And Spear. Catalina and SoCal running away with the scrolls. You can't see the scroll board. Oh, yeah, you can't. That's sort of a... I've got it sort of positioned that way. Unfortunately, it sort of kills the scoreboard, but it gives the best view of the map while still being able to show my stuff. I know it does crop a bit. I'm going to pile this up here next to the earth crystal. I need, I got to wait 23 minutes for that, so we'll do a warrior. This way, we get the clearest view out here. They get to come through this mess to get at us. That's how I typically do this map. Back to food. Back to pipe and ice cream, icing, not ice cream, icing. No, I'm running out of frosting. I'm not going to have frosting to do much on the top.
And so I think that is it. Just a simple pipe around the top. We got our roughly edges with lots of frosting. Now for the final challenge, it's taking off the parchment without screwing up. bottom too much. Oops, this way. Stay. Damn it. dinner with mom how you been I see you often hang out but nice to see you be a chatty hopefully you're having a lovely Tuesday There we go, clean all around the edges. Let's give everyone that view where the streamer epitome always drops what they're doing. I want to show you everything we're doing here. What we got.
so photos of this will be coming soon. However, I'm going to put this in the freezer for another day. And I'm going to be lazy for dinner tonight, so we're not going to do dinner on stream tonight. I'm going to be back tomorrow cooking with this stuff. Um, where is this stuff? No, not the taco shells from last Wednesday. There we go. Potato flakes. This is going to be primary ingredient to tomorrow's meal, overall at least. And what this is, is one of the industry standards that they make a vast majority of your foods out of. A lot of the stuff that you buy that are potato is this, just in some other form. Even like things like uh, Pringles, they're <laughs> preformed from dehydrated p potato. They're, they're made from that stuff. Um, and you can do instant mashed potatoes. You can do all sorts of stuff with them. They're actually a rather versatile ingredient. So that'll be what I'm tackling tomorrow evening. Uh, I'm going to take the rest of the evening off and enjoy it. Uh, I'm, thank you all for joining in for the second half of this. We have our battle here. Um, we got another 17 minutes on this battle, too. Mmm. Uh, no thank you, Catalina. Uh, deciding what to do about this battle. Do we start this battle early? Or do we do it off stream? Or we hang out for 15 minutes and... Just not do anything. Started early? I mean, I could sit here and just clean dishes. I'm going to have to do that anyways. I think I'm going to wait and do some dishes. Do you, Ozzy? What's that? I did notice that Bun Buns did put tofu up there earlier today. I'll have to give a look at that in a moment here. Hey, maybe you all can vote for tofu for Vegan Week.
Tofu is boring to me. I don't have really anything against it, but I mean, it's essentially the same thing as that foam that they make out of chicken for chicken nuggets. It's, it's like protein foam or protein... Yeah, and the, I forget what you call it, but the, like, smoked skins of tofu that they use in Japanese and sushi cuisine, those are good, too. I like those, actually. I haven't messed with those since I was in college, but... Yeah, those are sort of cool. I forget what we wrapped in those. But I remember it using those to wrap something. Not exactly the most attractive product though. I mean it's it's smoky, so it's it's like smoky white. Brown is like brown basically. And then you know, it's like wrinkly, sort of like, it's like old skin, like, look. Not sure I got any soap still in that thing. Conspiring against me. Nah, I use forcing me to be creative. Now you got me wondering what Ozzy's voting for. It's my favorite. Oh, now I'm now I'm really wondering what we got here. Come on, Discord. Where are you? There it is. <laughs> Ozzy.
it's something you can't get there in Australia. Well, you should feel happy about that. That that's a good thing. You're not missing out on anything. Other than pizza with a really sweet tomato sauce. I don't even know if I have tomato... I don't even know... If, <laughs> tomato John's. I don't know if I even have Papa John's in Sonoma County. I don't think I've had it since I lived in New York. Let's see if there's even Papa John's in Sonoma County. I guess there is one in Gatati. Which I guess you like guys like cold pizza. <laughs> Um, we have a local chain that's got something like nearly 20, uh, restaurants in the county. There's, uh, a fair number of small, still family run pizzerias in the area, which is sort of shocking to me. Um... But we got a little bit of everything else. Um, they're just sort of sparse. Just about everything here in Sonoma County, there's like one in the county sort of a thing. <laughs> it's usually either in Rona, if when it comes to the big commercial things, it's it's there's maybe one of them. If there's two of them, there's one in Petaluma or Rona Park, and there's one in Windsor. <laughs> But otherwise, it's like one of those two spots. And Katadi is right there with Rona Park and Petaluma. Uh... We have round table pizza, and round table around here seems to uh, control the market more than, it's sort of like direct competitor to uh, Pizza Hut in my mind, and they seem to have a stronger foothold in the area. Um... I'm not that big of a fan of pineapple pizza. I mean, like, it, it's n I don't dislike it. But as I've stated before, most places, especially if you get the the teenager making, making a pie and doesn't really care about the quality of the job he's doing, you get big chunks of pineapple straight out of the can, turning the pizza into a soggy mess and that I don't like
That is something I hadn't even considered before, Catalina. So what's our battle going to be tomorrow? What, what's our going to, or rather, what's our vote going to be tomorrow? If we go back to Discord here. Let's see. The, how this is done is the ones with the most votes from the top down. So we're looking for fives from the top down. Blue Cheese and Kangaroo current our lead, currently our leaders. Unless we get some sixes out there. I didn't see any sixes before. Yeah, unless we get some sixes or we get some fives higher up. That's what it's going to be tomorrow, Mike. Tomorrow. Oh, Potato Flakes is tomorrow's challenge. I apologize if I misspoke there. Potato Flakes is tomorrow. But we're starting a new vote tomorrow as well. And so for next week... Uh, right now, it's looking like the vote is going to be between the uh, kangaroo and blue cheese. Unless you want to go in there and vote and change that up. <laughs> well, you're going to have to if those are the two that are still the ones for tomorrow. <laughs> I gotta say I'm actually looking forward to the potential of a blue cheese night I'm not like I gotta eat blue cheese all the time but you know every once in a while it's really good Especially the funkier stuff. You get some of that, like, St. Auger Blue that's soft as a triple cream, but actual, has, like, actual cavities of fungus going in it. Oh. You get that range of going from, like, triple cream, like, super soft brie, like, softness to those like parmesan like crystals to yeah Ooh. there's a whole different type of funk to cheese than <laughs> like there's those cheeses that are just like nasty smelling old funky those, those are the ones that I'm not nearly as interested in. You can keep your Telegia. Um, the, the funky, you know, like, uh, what is it? The uh, actual penicillin. Uh, most of the blue cheeses are actually infected with penicillin. Let's do our last battle of the evening here. Mm. 
I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, we're going like straight south, completely ignoring my killing field. My wire is almost there. I don't think he's really in it though. I've gone down. Save me, folks. Victory. Well, rogues in general are faster than the other classes. So... Rubal Mika getting them kills. Uh, Catalina coming in with the sis. SoCal with uh, seven kills and seven sis as well. SoCal, Ozzy, and Catalina getting the rewards. And we're going to leave it there, although we might, might not be able to come back to this map tomorrow. We'll see. I'm going to leave it on this map and hope it'll do, but they've changed over themes now, and so come tomorrow it may try and get me to re restart the whole system or something like that to get me off of the map. Uh, so tomorrow... <coughs> tomorrow, going to be doing Potato Flakes. I hope you come back to join me. I don't think we've had anyone guide the raid this evening. Let's see who's out there. See if there's anyone we want to... Anyone I want to raid. Now that I'm done repeating myself on stream there, I apologize for that. I think we're just going to call it there. So I'll give you one last look at the cake here. And we're just going to call it a night. We have our... Hope you all have a great evening. Hope to see you back tomorrow. Good night.